We all have our favorite animated movie, and we all have these moments that will stick with us for a lifetime. Sometimes it's a lesson to be learned or maybe even your favorite punchline. And for some, it's the death of a character. This is Strategy Zone. Stick around as we go through 10 saddest cartoon movie moments. Show us you love these kittens and smash the like button. Let's get this video to 500 likes. I know you can do it, so smash that thumbs up below and turn it blue. Lion King. Lion King is a classic tale that many still love today. The first Lion King was released in 1994 and was followed with a sequel and many shows surrounding the original movie and characters. The songs in Lion King are still to this day used in videos everywhere, but it's a sad scene in the first movie that sticks with us. In the first movie, Mufasa has an encounter with Scar, who is basically pure evil, and Hercules gets his revenge in the form of a rug. But in Lion King, when Mufasa is alerted by Scar, who is Mufasa's brother, that Simba is trapped in a stampede and must save him, Scar waits until Mufasa is climbing out of the gorge on the cliffs and utters the phrase, Long live the king, as he throws Mufasa off the cliff to his death while Simba watches. Finding Nemo Finding Nemo takes us on a journey of a clownfish who has an independent spirit and wants to prove everyone else wrong that even with a short fin, he can do anything he sets his mind to. Voiced by Alexander Gold, many found Finding Nemo to be a great film. While this water journey has a lot of great moments, it also has a specific scene that was very sad. In the very beginning of the movie, as Marlon and his wife Coral are checking on their children, they are attacked. And while they had 450 little fish eggs to protect, they took some losses. Coral, Marlon's wife, and all but one of the eggs were all killed during the attack. The only egg that survived was a little fish named Nemo. So while this scene does have a happy moment, it also has a very sad note as Marlon lost his wife, 449 children, and Nemo lost his mom that he never got to meet. Pocahontas While this movie kept its audience waiting for a happy ending, this is one of Disney's only movies where there is no happy ending. John Smith and Pocahontas spent the entire time during the movie so they could stop the hate. And when their time came, John Smith was shot saving the chief. He was given a choice to stay and die or go back to England and live. John said he would not go without Pocahontas. The chief told her that she had to make her own decisions on whether she would go or not. She told John the people needed her there and she couldn't leave. John said he will just stay and Pocahontas tells him, you gotta go John or you're gonna die. John gets in the ship and then he leaves. But the even sadder part of this is after the ship is leaving, Pocahontas runs through the forest to a cliff that overlooks the ship in the water and the leaves make it to the ship and they wave one last time. All dogs go to heaven. This scene is a real gut wrencher. For anyone who has seen All Dogs Go to Heaven, most likely shared a tear. This movie is a classic one that a lot of kids grew up watching, either being it when it first came out or just being one of the very few movies that they had to choose from. Even though there are plenty of joyful moments in this movie, the ending of this scene shares a rather bittersweet ending, as Charlie is killed and he has to say goodbye to Anne Marie. Charlie shows up in the ghost form in a demon spirit outside her house signaling he is going to hell. And while he cries saying goodbye, a heaven spirit shows up and tells Charlie to say goodbye to Anne Marie. It's time for him to go to heaven because he gave his life for hers. Charlie tells her goodbye and lies to her when she asks if they will see each other again. He says yeah, but knowing he's dead, he won't ever see her again. As sad as this scene is, it's even sadder when she looks at Charlie and says, Goodbye, I love you. And that's when the tears start pouring. Bambi One of the most commonly thought of sad moments in history happens in Bambi. While this movie has some really entertaining characters and famous lines, if you can't say something nice. And during the movie, Bambi and his mom find food after searching for a real long time. So you think this is going to be a happy scene. Well, this scene turns into the saddest scene in the movie. As Bambi's mom, realizing danger is close, she tells Bambi that he needs to run as fast as he can and get to the thicket. As they are crossing the winter lands to get to safety, gunshots can be heard and she tells Bambi to run faster and run home not to look back. Bambi runs as fast as he can and gets into the thicket into safety and then he calls out for his mom only to realize she isn't there and she isn't going to be coming back either. 
If this scene isn't sad enough, the animators made sure you knew she was dead with a large amount of blood, adding to the realism that Bambi will never see his mom again. The Land Before Time This movie brings a lot of humor in with its depiction of dinosaurs, but after Littlefoot and Sarah are attacked by a T-Rex, his mom saves them and defeats the T-Rex, saving the two from certain death. Just as they get to safety, a giant earthquake separates families apart and Littlefoot sets out to find his mother. He finds his mother wounded from her battle with Sharptooth the T-Rex. Littlefoot tells her to get up and she tries, but she tells him that she can't and he must rely on what she has taught him. This scene is extremely sad as Littlefoot, knowing his mother is hurt, will not accept the fact that she is gone. She tells him she will always be there and to follow his heart. Tangled the movie that spent most of the time in the tower, filled with music and dancing in the movie, has its fair share of sad moments. But while this movie may have put songs in the minds of kids everywhere, and girls everywhere dressing up like Rapunzel for Halloween, Eugene gets stabbed and Rapunzel tries to save him. But doing so would kill her, so he tricks her and cuts her hair off. Gothel then turns old and has a nice trip outside the tower. Knowing she has no power, Rapunzel sings, hoping to bring Eugene back to life. Mulan 2 Mulan tells an old tale of honor and dignity, bringing us Mulan, who has a warrior spirit and will fight in the front lines with the men. She's not afraid to fight. Several scenes are close with so many action scenes, you're just waiting for one of the characters to die. In this second installment of the movie series Mulan, Mulan and Shang are attacked on a bridge. And during the attack, the thugs break loose and cut the bridge, leaving Mulan and Shang stranded on a rope. Seeing that the rope won't hold them both, Shang tells Mulan he's sorry and lets go, letting Mulan live. This scene is especially sad as we can see the emotions on Mulan's face as Shang died so she could live. Up. Considered to be one of the best animated films, Up provided its viewers into following your dreams. While this movie is by far a great animated classic, it does take you on an emotional roller coaster ride, specifically early on in the movie when you see Carl and Ellie's life. By the end, you feel like they are a part of your life in some way. So it's no surprise that Ellie's death made it to our number two spot on this list. Just as Carl is going to surprise Ellie that they get to go to Paradise Falls, she has a heart attack and the two spend their last moments together. How sad. Snow White Disney's first animated full feature film, this classic shows us how kind a person can be. Working with seven different personalities isn't easy either. Loving everyone and animal, Snow White was everyone's friend. This movie gave us some fond memories, but it landed on our number one spot because it's truly the saddest moment in cartoon movie history. Being Snow White ate a poisonous apple and not knowing it had poison in it, it killed her. While that could have been the saddest moment, it continues, as the dwarves cherished and loved Snow White so much that they refused to bury her, instead keeping constant vigil at her glass and gold made coffin. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then smash that thumbs up below and help this video get its goal of 500 likes. I know you can do it, so turn that white thumbs up blue right below this video and let's get this video to 500 likes.